Okay, more Panda post lock development. So wanted to capture both sides of the net to see how the goalies were developing from one side to the other. Again, here we're going to be breaking it down through the three steps. So goalies getting used to transitioning into the overlap, overlap butterfly. Then we're going to do the overlap butterfly, kind of the RVH post lock, and then tracking the puck behind. And then eventually we're going to add in a, uh, a pass option to try and make it a little bit more game real. So here the goalie elects to come through a little bit under square, but then again, she's not getting her hip to the post. So as you can see here, we have daylight. And for that shooter coming through on her strong side here, right, that's, that's an easy target here. Right, nice blocker save. And then again, if she's out here, Right, we're over rotated here, so we're we're not in a great spot. Right? So this one here, first wrap on the other side, like let's not cut it up too much. Right, nice save, a little bit better. Right, good, getting hip on the pulse. Can, she's electing here a little bit more to go in more of a traditional RVH, but she still has I had the skate on the outside of the post, so in theory, this is the panda post lock here. There. A lot of goalies forget as they're transitioning from right to left or blocker side to stick side to bring that stick around with them. So that stick should be over in front should be helping to lead the rotation, right? We want that stick over here blocking off the, any uh, pass or the player's attempted exit on the far side. Get nice pad save. So it's interesting here to see between the two goalies, this first one and the second one, how well they did on the glove side and then any struggles they might have the blocker side. So what we're going to be able to see here is some of the inefficiencies they might have on one side or the other. So this is going to allow us as coaches to really break down our next steps of what we need to focus on or help the goalie focus on as part of their practice plan. So from a U18 perspective, I've already sent the girls this video and their expectation is to take a look over what's going on and come back to me with some of the areas that they want to work on. Most importantly, we want to engage the goalies to become their own goalie coach. I want to end up consulting with them. I don't want to end up leading them by hand the whole time, especially at the U18 level. All right. Good play. All right. Excellent play there. So, again, a goalie was concerned about how this play broke down, but all right. A little bit ahead of the play going into the post here, but not too bad. She ends up squaring up nicely, right? And then we can see here just in the way the video is going, it looks like she's going down early, but she's going down on time. But again, she's pushed this puck carrier to the outside. The puck carrier is thinking that she's seeing some daylight here on the short side, but the goalie's going to be able to get down, take that away, right? But we're going to see the hip shift here instead of going straight down. So the hip shift is going to th allow the shooter to think they have a little bit more uh, space to shoot at than they might actually have. All right, goalie ends up closing down. We can kind of see over the shooter's shoulder. Our goalie squares up nicely. There's nothing there available. Shooter goes off the back of the net. All right, excellent play. There. So this one here. She's got her hip on the post and slides right down. We want to, so the, the whole Panda name came from the save selection looking like, the so the goalie going back to the post looking like a Panda kind of scratching their backside on a uh, bamboo shoot. So that's the mentality that you want to take into learning this drill or developing it with the goalies is that their backside should be on that post the whole time. 
right? So there, active save, right? Active hands, but able to neutralize the rebound. A little bit better bringing that stick across, right? But we don't want it out here because again, there's still a gap here. We want that stick coming right back over to that goal line, right? Sealing off any kind of passing lane or in a poke check opportunity, backhand poke check, if that player decides to, to walk out over here. All right, excellent stick position. So here we've added in the backdoor option here. Give our girls the opportunity to work into some game situations. All right, nice execution. Oh, cheating, All right? Got caught in between. Here, I guess this is kind of a combination of everything, but not a master of none. Going through these refs is important to me as we work the goalies through the different stages and the key points of the Panda Post Lock. So we're identifying Park position, we're identifying good defense, bad defense, just situationally so we know how to play uh, the puck carrier. We're identifying secondary scoring threats. We're sealing off short side holes, and we're making sure that that, that player uh, doesn't have any options, and we're trying to provide ourselves with the best opportunity to make a save. Great job here. So as we're piecing everything together, I'm really letting the goalie kind of figure things out to settle points if there's kind of like a, a bigger mess here on, on getting the hip on the post or something like that. But we want the goalie to kind of feel a little bit of a rhythm of what it's like to kind of play this play out and then be able to move out of the Panda post lock either on a wrap or on a backdoor pass. Right, excellent play there. Active stick. Right, let the goalies work through it in their mind, but also use the tools that work best for them. Right, good active stick. Nothing wrong with that. She's able to recover. Right, and stick kind of coming up in the air. Obviously, economic of economics of movement, not the greatest, but she's able to get it around, get it on the puck, regain her balance. Right, some excellent reps here by the girls. I was really proud of how well they picked up on what I was asking them to do. Um, again, the reason why I chose both of these goalies is their work ethic, adaptability, and willingness to try something new. So, again, going through the Panda Post Lock, we want to make sure right, that we have the goalies are working through here, so for us, is zone three to zone two to zone one, right? Getting the hip back in on the post, right? But then here she identified, oh, there's going to be a backdoor pass. So she kind of stopped herself from going down, identified, and was able to come across and seal. So a lot of good stuff here in my opinion. Again, the Panda Post Lock isn't some 
revolutionary uh, safe selection that, that's going to change the world. But I think it's a highly intelligent safe selection for a lot of goalies to entertain putting into their game. And then especially for our goalies in this sub-six-foot demographic, also takes a lot of pressure off the hips and knees with regards to the traditional RVH.